Oh, you pursued the wrong path while researching stable warp field, so it set back the project. Dang. And our explorers are both automated and doing things, so that's okay. There we go. We got positive cash flow again. So we'll run that for a bit. I'll, I'll lower the taxes again to try to balance things out in a scooch, but let's get some, some cash. No, they, it's not because they're not building because they're, they're, we're losing money, because they have money. They have tons of cash. Private sector is completely different from my personal sector, but yeah, maybe, I don't know. We'll just run positive for a little while. Make a colonization. So there's not going to be anything in our first system to colonize, but once we get our hyper... Um, our hyperdrives done, then we'll be okay. So, stable warp fields. I really want hyperdrive technology to finish, and then we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. I think I'll queue up the enhanced engines after that. Maybe the maneuvering actually it will be kind of nice to have the extra stuff. All right, so we're going to be doing a lot of waiting right now. You're building a gas mining station. That mining ship is doing stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering too if we just don't have enough good stuff in our home system for it to be worthwhile. Um, no resources over here. Yeah, that's... It's kind of cruddy. And even when you look at the uh, expansion planner here and we look at resource things, this is empty. This is for resources that we don't particularly care about. Yeah, we actually have a really shitty starting system. There's not enough stuff. There's not asteroids. Man, oh man. We're going to be in pain until we leave. Mmm. You're right. The explorers, we do want to head them back home um, ahead of time. Okay, well, you're refueling there. You're doing that. I mean, they're almost going to be done exploring this. But yeah, the sooner they're home, the sooner they can retrofit. But we'll also spam out tons of explorers. I'm going to want, like, ten to start off with or something like that. Maybe don't wait for the better warp. No. We're not going to restart. We're going to be fine. I mean, I suppose we could consider just making some warp bubble explorers real quick. Although, we're also going to need warp bubble freighters and everything. It's not like there isn't still stuff happening, but yeah, it is a little bit crappy. Hmm. We've got plenty of gas mining going on. But that's it. It's the it's the other kind of mining that's not so great. And man oh man are those these constructors slow. <laughs> uh personal transit system tech. Alright, that's very exciting. <laughs> Congrats, cool man. So they're delivering some gas over here. Enhanced storage system tech is done. Improvements to the fuel cells. That's going to be handy. Once you use warp bubbles, so will the private economy. We're still making money. Yeah, it, it's going to be fine. Um, we are now researching the hyperdrive technology. And by the way, you can speed up research by, um, by spending money, but we don't have the money, so we're not gonna. Can you blow up gas giants? I don't think so. So at least this planet's got a little bit of something something. I'm wondering if they're not gonna build freighters until we, um, until the storage is filled up on one of these. I don't think we can check the storage situation on our mining stations. No, I haven't, uh, Pirate Truck. I'll take a look. Would you recommend this game over Galactic Civ? Galactic Civilizations is very good. It's so hard to tell because they're very different. Just because they're both 4X space games, the overlap isn't what you would expect. It's really hard to tell. Thing is, I think there is some sort of planetary destruction tech that you can get later on. But yeah, we have such a crap system. It's going to be that much more important than we just leave it. Where are you going? Oh, we do have asteroids over here. Oh, and we do have we do have space critters. Oh, okay. Um, so that's going to be a slight problem. Ooga, ooga, tech. Okay, that's high tech. Done. All right, we'll uh, tell you what. In preparation. Actually, we'll get the sensors and then long-range scanners. 
and then we'll grab the first colonization tier to get started. Ooga Ooga is done. But yeah, we do have a little space lizards. Well, we'll build our first military ship soon. A new ship captain has appeared. Excellent. We'll take a look at you soon. So yeah, space lizards can really be a huge pain in the ass. Well, space slugs. So we're going to have mining ships, private mining ships that are going to go over there, and then space critters are going to aggro on them, and they'll have to run away. They, well, they, some of them might get destroyed. Okay, exploration ships. I'm going to get both of you to come home at this point. Move. And move over here. There you go. Excellent. Exploration ship requires refueling. I know, I know. Well, oh, that's the other thing I can just say here. Refuel and repair, refuel and repair. If they run out of fuel, so we can actually zoom out, we can see the range. So this is how far this ship can reach before running out of fuel. And it's actually not going to quite make it home. Um, it will limp home for the rest of the way, though, and it's going to be okay. And then the other ship has got more fuel. There's its radius over here. Yep, under attack by a space slug. The space slugs aren't super aggro. They don't tend to chase you. They just attack if you're really, really close nearby. But these asteroids all have like some extra resources in them. So we definitely want our, our you know private industry to be able to mine that asteroid belt. It's gonna be our job to go and defend them. Hyperdrive technology, 73%. It's getting there. We're gonna get a lot of these space slug things. Ooh, our scientist has gotten better. New research level, very nice. Our leader, our crap leader who's already crap. Well, he's now disorganized, which is gonna give us a huge penalty to all our construction speeds. God damn, this is the worst game ever, I think. <laughs> I think this is the worst start I've ever seen in this. It's really bad. Oh. You're offering for 10,000 credits, they'll put us in contact with another empire. I'm gonna have to, I, I kinda do wanna get contact with other empires, but we're gonna have to say no for now, just cause we don't have that kind of money. Just waiting for hyperdrives. Kill your leader. Time for the leader to have an accident. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna reroll. It's fine. I mean, hell, we're an hour into this. Well, ish. We did spend a lot of time setting things up, of course. Come on, hyperdrive. Then we're gonna design, redesign all of our ships. Because we've also unlocked shields at this point, and armor and things like that. Even the civilian ships will get a little bit of this. Does paying pirates more make them pop up? Uh, I don't think so. I'm gonna make the leader general and declare war. No, wrong game. 98%, <laughs> there we go, done. Hyperdrive technology, okay. So we're gonna do a lot of redesign over here. Um, are we gonna redesign the bases at this point? I'm kind of tempted to say yes. Okay, let's start with the exploration ships. So we'll do, we'll tell auto upgrade, but then we'll do a manual upgrade. So there we go. So this is gonna be, um, I'm just gonna leave this, I'm just gonna call this the surveyor. Um, Mark two over here. So this is our current exploration ship. So it currently has no hyperspeed. But if we go down to movement, and now we add the Gearax Hyperdrive, boom, it now has hyperspeed. And again, the cruise speed was 32. The hyperspeed is 1866. But you might say, this hyperdrive is supposed to have a speed of 3500. Why is it only 1866? Because we don't have enough power to have it you hit the maximum hyperspeed, which is no good at all. So we're gonna add a fission reactor to our design here, which increases our power output. So now we can hit the top speed of 3,500 hyper. Excellent. I'm gonna go and throw in another um, directional jet. Try to keep its turn rate at about 20, just so it doesn't spend all day like trying to rotate and repoint and things like that. So we've got you. What else do we maybe want to do with the surveyor? Um, as far as I know, we don't have any new sensors. It's running the the resource profile center sensor. So this lets us scan for resources and it's got one and that's that's good enough. Um, we could throw some guns on here. It might be worth throwing a weapon on, um, but in particular, I'm gonna throw a little bit of armor. Um, that and one pack of shields. It's not my, oh, we are, our ship is too big. Our maximum size is 200 and this would be 235. Let's take away the shield. Oh, we were already over? Oh, we were already over. Okie dokie. I think what we need is we need um, we need to research the tech to let us go bigger. 
I'm going to remove some ion thrusters, which will just reduce its cruise speed. I think we can live with this. How's our range? Our current range is 2.01 sectors. I would really love for this to have a really extended range. Um, you can also do a little bit of math on some of this stuff, um, which is tricksy for me, though. Um, our hyperdrive needs 90 energy to basically be run continuously. Um, and right now, we get for every thousand energy units, it costs five fuel, and our energy storage is two ten. It's like you can start doing all this math and stuff, and I don't know. Can we? What's our actual size right now? One ninety six. How large is the small fuel cell? It's a six. So that will put us over. But then if I cut back on directional jets, there we go, like this. We can extend the range a little bit. I think this is what we're gonna have to do right now. Lose a small fuel cell? No. What? <laughs> the opposite. Um. There we go. So we'll go with something like this. Um, I think this will be relatively okay. We're going to save you. Um, oh, we don't have a design for passenger ships. It's letting us know, and we it would like us to do that. Add new. We do have... It lets us know because we didn't have a design for that, but we've since unlocked the tech to make passenger ships possible. Let's take a moment and design a passenger ship to satisfy this. So we set the role of a new ship to passenger ship. It defaults to, like, a certain military profile over here, although we could override it, but we're not going to. And then it got a bunch of warnings for our basic ship here. So this is building a ship from scratch, passenger ship. So it can move people to new colonies, and also there's, like, luxury passengers that can pay us a bunch. I don't think it'll be used right now, but... Do I want to bother? Let, let's focus on something else right now, because I don't think that's useful. Our constructor also will need to be redesigned. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't edit it. But I can upgrade it, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to rename this the Constructor Mark II. That's going to be okay. So we're going to go and add a hyperdrive. It's got enough power to run this, which is great. Um, what I would like to do is add a bunch more cargo space to this. Um, also, oh, some energy collectors. So constructors tend to spend a lot of time standing still. Energy collectors let you generate power, like solar power, while you stand still. Um, because the static energy usage, so energy uses power, or, uh, sorry, energy uses fuel to generate. So if we have static energy collectors, then we, we don't need to include that much fuel, or we don't burn that much fuel when just sitting around. So here we're now going to collect 24 passive energy, um, and our static energy is 26. Now, 24 is the max potential energy you can generate the further away from the sun, the lower it goes. I think it's worth putting a second one on there, even though it overkills it. We're going to do that. The other thing that could be really helpful is the cargo bay. What's our cargo patsy? 4,500, that's actually not bad. I think because of the, um, the mod I'm using, it does give you a smarter initial setup. Because the base game, I think the, the default constructor, has so little cargo capacity that it often has to make more than one ship to construct trip to construct things. But that's not the case over here. So I think what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of basic defense. Um, a little bit of armor. Okay, yeah, we're not we're not over anything. Um, let's do that. Maybe like one unit of shields. Okay, that's okay. Um, I think that's fine. We could put like a gun on here or something, but I don't see why. Mostly, it's just gonna run away. Oh, um, we might want to give it more cruise speed to escape from things, like cruise and sprint, because it can't always just hyper. Um, if we can throw on some thrusters on here, just to give it a slightly better ability to run away, that's, that's, I think that's going to be worthwhile. There we go. This would require more habitation and life modules now, so I'm going to just trim back. There we go. And do something like this, just so it's a little speeder and can run away a bit more. It seems like it's going to be okay. So I'm going to save this design for the constructor. And um, we're also going to design some sort of military ships to clo and clear out that area. Let's go and uh, tell you what, we'll use the light cruiser here as the base. So we'll do a um, an upgrade. It doesn't really have a variant. A Sacramento. What are we going to call our light cruiser ship? You guys have to go and figure it out um, in the chat. We need a naming suggestion. I know for sure I'm going to want at least the hyperdrive on there. And, okay, luckily it's pretty speedy as is, which is good. Um, it doesn't have to be super fast, although I'm going to want to improve its, um, its turn rate. Cruise control, Brussels, that's good. 
uh, directional jets. Again, I'm going to aim for a turn rate of about 20 degrees. We'll have to tune this a bit as we add more stuff. Um, military ships do actually spend a fair amount of time just sitting around idle, like sitting around a planet waiting for someone to show up. So I think I will throw on an energy collector on here. Bruiser, Stinger. I like Stinger. Gandhi Destroy a World. Slug Cleaner. Stone Mug. Mm. Yeah, it's too big already. Huh? Okay, we need to research our, like, size improvements. Okay, let me just cancel this one. Uh, we'll just start with the escort size thing. Um, we, we do have to research the size booster. Maybe we can make do without the hyperspace right now. You need more power. These are the old pulse blasters, which are obsolete. So Maxis blasters instead. Put five. This has got to stay fairly small. It has no armor or shields. Now it needs some more hab modules. Size is 200. Was that our limit? Is 200 our limit? No. Okay. Got some shields on here. Its turn rate sucks, and its speed isn't quite what I want, although the turn rate, I think, is maybe more important. I think we can live with this. How's our range? Our current range is 2.01 sectors. I would really love for this to have a really extended range. Um, you can also do a little bit of math on some of this stuff, um, which is tricksy for me, though. Um, our hyperdrive needs 90 energy to basically be run continuously. Um, and right now, we get... For every 1,000 energy units, it costs 5 fuel, and our energy storage is 210. It's like you can start doing all this math and stuff, and I there we go. We got the money for it. Done. I'm also going to go and drop our taxes down to about 5% again, which should let us sort of more or less break even. And again, we might want to bring it to zero, but we'll wait for the uh, the private economy to kickstart as much as possible. Um, repairing light cruiser and doing this. So I'm going to turn off automation for both of our constructors. I'm going to let them finish their current job, but then we'll refit them after. So we've got that. Okay, the abandoned ship has been encountered. We're going to investigate it. There you go. We've boarded it and taken control. So this thing has been taken control. It's still got to be um, still got to be tweaked a little bit, I think. I don't know. Oh no, we can use it now. Excellent. So this destroyer is now ours. We could use it. There's a place you can go to find out all the gear that's on here. I don't remember where. Like a list of all the components. But I think we're probably going to retire you for tech. I'm going to retire you at the nearest shipyard. I'll click the design name. Oh, right here. There it is. Size 337, which is bigger than we can build. Auto cannons. Yeah, maybe maybe we do kill something first with the space worms. It's not a terrible idea. Um, oh, it doesn't actually have very much fuel. You know what? It barely has enough fuel to uh, to make it back. So no. Um, because then it would limp home. I'm just going to go ahead and give you the command to retire at nearest shipyard. We'll pull you apart, we'll get a bunch of material, and that's going to be okay. We're building up our own vessel, it's going to be fine. Uh, what we can do with our ships here, uh, if we just filter to military ships, so these are under construction here, I'm going to grab these, and I'm just going to add them to a fleet be called First Fleet for now, but it's probably going to be the um, the Sapilla Defense Fleet going forward. But yeah, it always makes the hulls of the ships. So like, if we go over here, we can find. Here's the Sprout 001, um, but it has a bunch of unbuilt components, so they're not they're not functional yet. Uh, Ooga Ooga Science Science. Got all our blasters upgraded here. Um. 
I think we're going to want some torpedoes for some nice long-range stuff. Here, we'll do that, followed by the advanced. We don't have hangar bays yet, either. That's going to be really nice, followed by the advanced version of it. Um, we get better stuff to like improve our troops, which isn't really relevant right now. Maybe a reactive armor to make our armor better. And this is just a different type of armor, so this is an upgrade to our armor if we do it this way. That sounds pretty good to me. Oh, yeah. Alright, build the ships. These are explorers. Yeah, speed reduced because it has no fuel. This is almost no fuel, but it's going to get there. Military ships are being constructed. Nice. You're still repairing. Oh, you're building, but you're coming home for it. You know what? No, I'm going to retrofit you. And I guess you were done repairing that. I'm going to retrofit you as well. And my explorers, retro, retro. Okay, good. So when you get rebuilt, you'll be able to go and warp around. Meanwhile, I never did queue up a bunch of explorers, right? I'm going to queue up ten more explorer ships. I don't have that kind of money. We're losing money right now again. It's whatever. I'll still... Eh, I can't do that. Dang. All right. Well, then we wait. We do have a lot of sprouts. Okay, so we have a fleet now. So we're going to give this fleet a bit of a stance here. We're going to tell it, first of all, your home, your initial base, is going to be right here. Um, there you go. This planet. Base that Petra. Excellent. Your posture is going to be to defend, so there's going to be some automation going on here. Um, and your range is going to be to defend the area around the current system. So they will automatically sort of jump around to sort of respond to some of these things. And you can see their fuel range is quite large, although to power up various systems and things like that that they have, they'll burn a lot of fuel for energy. So this will shrink sort of pretty quickly as they start doing things. So there's that. And then in addition to this behavior, which I'm giving them as their default, we're also going to tell you, come over here and kill these space slugs. Now, I'm doing this as a fleet as opposed to an individual ship. One of our ships, the Spout 3, is engaged its hyperdrive, allowing us to travel faster than light for the first time. Distances that previous took months to traverse can now be e covered nearly instantaneously. Next stop, the stars. Actually, next stop, slugs. We're also receiving reports that at this time, at the time of this hyperjump, unusual sensor readings were reported to Epper. Maybe we should send ships to investigate this area. Interesting. Vroom! So the fleet has just warped in and is going to start engaging these guys. If we bring it down to, like, normal speed, it looks a little more reasonable. Oh, we should have killed this one, too. Excellent. So we've cleared out all the space slugs from this. I'm going to tell these guys to go back to being automated. And what they should mostly do is, yeah, they're going to they're gonna hang out at home. I think they're just recharging their, their hyperspace. They're going to go back home, and there we are. So this little mining ship is going to mine asteroids in pure safety now. Lovely. We got negative money, but, you know... Sure, that's fine. Meanwhile, our exploration ships here. Automate you too. And you're still retrofitting, but we'll automate you afterwards. So our exploration ships will now jump to the stars and find some more stuff. So there's still an issue that we have like no private money properly going. I'm still very weirded out by that. Okay, so you're exploring over here, and you're still refueling at the spaceport, but then you're gonna take a jump out. Boom. A new star is starting to be explored. The Kukekos Junction. Energy torpedo weapons. All right. Long-range scanners, which would be nice to get on the explorer ships, but we'll have to revisit that later. There you go. And yeah, they can hyperspace to all these things and research it very quickly. Construction ships. Mining station. You're still retrofitting and we'll probably assign more missions. And they're going to keep going out here. Um, I might want to go and like encourage you. You know what? I'll let you finish this, but I'm going to turn off the automation. 
I'm gonna like get you to specifically check out the systems in your home. Ancient guardians have contacted us. We have an important warning that you need to hear. Do I have your full attention? Tell us more. Mechanoids share important warning. The dark ones of ancient time long to return. They seek a pathway back to dominate overall. Beware of unknown monuments and beacons that light the way. Be prepared for the revenge of the destroyers. Pirates secretly funded to attack Empire. The Intelligence Network has covered a covert arrangement of the Ancient Guardians. They have made a secret deal with Pirate Faction to attack the ships and bases of the Red Claw Authority. Um, warning them will no longer, earn, no doubt, earn their gratitude, but also damage the reputation of Ancient Guardians. Sure, we'll warn them. So, let's take a look at the diplomacy screen over here, uh, which is here. So, yeah, we don't even know that other faction yet. So, these are the Savage Marauders, and those are the Ancient Guardians. Okay. That's fine. Auga? It's a good time, you're right. Oh, a new leader's been elected, good! Because our last one was crap. Let's, um, we're paused here. Let's take a look at our leaders here and see what our situation is. Uh, you are energetic. Plus 5% to all existing skills. You got counter espionage, trade income, that's great. Okay, lovely. And yeah, we're being good on the high energy stuff. Let's get some enhanced energy collection. Uh, oh, you know what we need to do actually is space construction so we can build bigger ships. So we're gonna go from um, from 200 to 500. Much, much, much improved. I think we're gonna wanna get a bunch of this stuff over here. Damage control, that's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to check on the private designs. That is also true. Now they are set to auto upgrade. But yeah, they didn't they didn't get it in there. Um, or maybe because they have the automation off, maybe it ignores the automatic. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's make sure that you all have hyperdrives here. Um, it's probably worth getting you capped out. And these are miners, so they spend a lot of time sitting around, so we'll give you some energy collector on there. And your crew speed is pretty good. We technically need 35, or no, you got a sprint of, of 40. Oh, that's actually really good, because 35 is enough to get rid of, get away from some of the crap that's around there. We'll give you a tiny bit of armor, just to say. Oh, you're too big. Son of a bitch. Okay, we'll come back once we've unlocked the embiggening tech. We'll do all that once we get the embiggening tech. All right, N no mission. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you to come here and explore um, this system. I guess we can say all systems in a sector as well to kind of prioritize things, but that'll be okay. Wrong path, enhanced torpedoes. Well, that's fine. We can live without enhanced torpedoes. Designs aren't automated. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's set to automatic over here, but it is in my Empire policy screen, and I don't know if I have, um, where's the shipbuilding one? See, so control ship design manually, but if I do have these boxes checked, so I don't know. Anyway, we'll just let it go. Times four speed. But yeah, we need this private economy to kick in. This is terrible. Colonization, Empire priority. I mean, that's decent gas, but we're still not feel it, finding um, ground resources, really, that are worth manually going and scheduling something for. Still, actually, it would be really handy to get a gas um, mining setup. Um, oh, it's not Kazlon, which is too bad, because you can refuel. If there was Kazlon at that gas giant in Kukekos Junction, then we'd be able to refuel from there. No freighters. Wait. Do they not start? No, we have freighters. They must be too big. That's the issue. Yeah, I can't build any of these. Okay. The mod changes the initial designs to be a lot better, but it must have changed them to be too big for our default stuff. So as soon... As soon as we get space colonize or construction, which I should have prioritized right off the bat, as it appears, 
they should be able to spam freighters and then we'll have a hugely good um, civilian economy once again. Wow. Yeah, we don't need budget cuts. It's going to be fine. Completed mission. Good. So you're going to come over here. Explore that one. And the bold rogue. And we'll put you back on automatic later too. Um, you're good on fuel? Well, ish. Send you to explore there. Hopefully we'll be okay. 